Talk Nation, Talk Nation. Smash that like button on your way in. Greatness can come from anywhere. I draw inspiration from the Filipino people and to God in my family. Hard work is the most difficult thing in boxing. Let's get into it. And Tiafimo, he is going to get lit up because Tio ain't right in the head, man. He not right. I don't even know what to say, bro. He underestimated George Cambosos. And Cambosos went in there and whooped him. He was bloody in that fight. He got beat bloody. What you think Josh Taylor is going to do? Especially after the build up to the fight. Everything that Tio said to Josh Taylor, talking about he going to kill him and all that. This is the sport of boxing. Can't play boxing. Boxing is a dangerous game. If you lose in the sport of boxing, that's one thing, but people actually do get severely hurt and lose their life from the injuries they sustained while competing in the sport of boxing. So for Tio to say that, it's a little bit reckless, man, and it shows you that mentally, he out of there. I ain't saying he cuckoo for Coco Puss, but Tiafimo Lopez is a little shooken up. And I think a lot of that has to do with his personal life, what's going on outside of the ring, and we all know the problems that that can bring to a fighter's life and how that can affect his performance in the ring. You look at Adrian Broner, shout out to the champ. Based upon the opposition that he had, AB looked like AB. But is he ready for the champions at 140? Absolutely not. And Tiafimo Lopez, in my opinion, is not ready for Josh Taylor. But you know what? If he shocks the world, if he beats Josh Taylor, that's huge. I'm talking about that is huge. That puts Tiafimo Lopez on a crash course to possibly being undisputed at 140. If he could take that scrap from Josh Taylor, move on from Josh Taylor, and let's just say he fights pro Gray, pick up that WC belt, becomes a unified champion. I mean, Tiafimo Lopez, I mean, you're talking about a comeback story, pulling yourself back up type story. Man, Tiafimo Lopez is going to shock the boxing world because a lot of people is writing Tiafimo Lopez off. And just because I believe he is going to get beat bloody in this fight by Josh Taylor, that does not mean that I'm saying that Tiafimo Lopez does not have skill. He has skill, ability, great agility. You know what I mean? He does a lot of unpractical things in the ring that adds to his super explosive talent. Tiafimo Lopez is a great talent. But in boxing, we all know that physical and mental, yes, they do coincide, but the mental aspect of boxing supersedes the physical aspect because if your mind ain't right, your body will follow. Your body does what your mind tells it to do, whether it's instinctual or whatever. So if your mind ain't right, it's gonna cut down on your reflexes, on your reaction time, and Tiafimo Lopez can't afford that. Facing Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is dangerous. A dangerous southpaw, he has power, he has ability. I'm Irish born, I mean, hailing from England, the UK. I mean, Josh Taylor's a fantastic talent, man. You know what I mean? And he has that edge. He has that chip on his shoulder. And I believe that he wants to do damage to Tiafimo Lopez. It's not just talk. It's not just, okay, we trying to sell the fight, trying to promote the fight. No, fight night come, which is today, which is tonight. It is going down. And Tiafimo may be going down. Josh Taylor, if he gets caught with a shot of Tiafimo Lopez is on his game, he could possibly go down Tiafimo by power. Both of these guys got 13 knockouts, similar records. Josh Taylor is at 19 and 0 with 13 knockouts. As I said, Tiafimo Lopez is 18 and 1 with 13 knockouts his only loss coming from George Cambosis when he got upset uh, most notable victories when Tiafimo Lopez dethroned and he beat Vasily Lomachenko great and most certainly the greatest victory of his career so far if he beats Josh Taylor that will be the second greatest victory in his career so far and those two names right there is enough to put him in the running to having a Hall of Fame championship career he definitely needs more fights but just having those two names those are two premier names to have on your list beating Vasily Lomachenko becoming undisputed and also beating Josh Taylor and becoming a champion. And then if he goes on to fight Regis Progre and to become unified, I mean, Tiafimo Lopez, if he is able to win this fight and capitalize in this fight, because Josh Taylor coming in this fight, yes, he could be a bit emotional because he wants to destroy Tiafimo Lopez, but if he's able to harness that emotion and that energy in the right way, he can be very dangerous. And if you are a fantastic fighter and you happen to lose to another fantastic fighter, that will not hurt your pedigree. Namely, you look at Vasily Lomachenko. Yes, he lost to Tiafimo Lopez, but guess what? He was able to come back and get another shot at being undisputed by facing Devin Haney. Yes, he came up short. Controversial decision. It was a close fight. Devin Haney pulled out the 12th round, you know what I mean? Loma said himself, he kind of took his foot off of the gas in the 12th round, but that 12th round, in my opinion, was the deciding factor in Devin Haney ultimately walking away and pulling out the victory in that fight. Should it be a rematch? Yes, but at the same time, you can't be mad if it's not because Devin Haney, he wants to move up. 
he wants to move up. His frame is getting too big for 135. Yes, his great fights at 135, but with Tank now being incarcerated, but the question is, because Haney is the guy, he's the top dog, and by beating Vasily Lomachenko, I mean, I'm going to say he can do what he want, but he can kind of write his own ticket a little bit. So if he doesn't want to fight Shakur, if he wants to wait or maybe come back and fight Tank Davis, guess what? Those fights are going to be there for him. But if he wants to move up and wet his feet at 140, then he can do that too. But in my opinion, I think Devin Haney should stick around, fight Tank, fight Shakur. Definitely, you know what I mean, should fight Tank. That'll be a huge fight. That'll definitely be a big money fight. Probably the largest payday of his career so far. Or if not, if he really wants to, I mean, push the borders and show people what he's working with, fight Shakur Stevens. I honestly would have to pick Shakur Stevens and end that fight to dethrone Devin Haney. And I don't think it'll be a hard fight for Shakur Stevens. Shakur's too slick, too sharp on the inside, mid-range. I think he's going to go in there, outbox, outsmart Devin Haney, beat him up on the inside. And Shakur's coming into his strength. We've seen that in his last fight. He's stronger. So, like I said, man, it's not going to be an easy road for Devin Haney. Yes, he has some, I mean, great victories to defend. He defended his title but moving forward. He has only big fights, but those big fights are dangerous fights. Those fights are fights that he can lose. This fight tonight, Josh Taylor versus Tiafimo Lopez. Somebody is definitely going to lose. I don't think it's going to be anything controversial in this fight. Somebody's going to get stopped or knocked out. And I believe that Tiafimo Lopez is going to be beat bloody. He's going to be beat bloody, just like Sebastian Fundor, um, he disfigured Eric, Erickson movement. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get it twisted. It may be a situation like that. You know what I mean? Tiafimo Lopez might come out of this fight looking like the elephant man. You know what I'm saying? Bah, 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 bah. You know what I'm saying? Swole up, lumped up, cut up. You know what I mean? Like, y'all see a picture, man, like, like Tiafimo Lopez, man. You know what I mean? Like, he's what I think he's going to get bloody. He's going to be bloody in this fight. He's going to be bloody in this fight, man. If he gets caught early, he may get stopped early. If he gets caught with the right shot at the right time, he may go to sleep early. How will this fight end? I believe this fight will end by stoppage. I don't think this fight goes 12 rounds. And if this fight happens to go 12 rounds, I have to give the competitive edge advantage in that department to Josh Taylor. And this fight tonight, it will prove it. If he walks away victorious, it may silence the critics, including myself. But if he walks away from this fight with his head down because he got crushed, demolished, devastated, hurt, stopped, and destroyed, his career may be in jeopardy and mentally he may not be able to bounce back from defeat that he will suffer at the hands of Josh Taylor. And I believe it's going to be brutal. It's going to be bloody. I'm picking Josh Taylor by stoppage. Talk big stand up. It's your boy. I'm out. Fatality. Fatality.